Hey, what's up, guys? This is Athena, and welcome to the educational commentary. This is the Soul of the Diamond series. I think we're on episode eight or nine, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll show you in the title. But I'm going to be explaining my every thought process and all that. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I want to help you guys show that it is possible to solo queue to diamond, platinum, wherever you want to go. Uh, you just need to make sure you're playing solo queue correctly. First, we're going to go CC. I'm personally, I think CC is kind of just like the. Uh, the default site right now i think people should start choosing church and gym um they're definitely a little bit easier but the meta is kind of evolved over time cash just such an easy attacker sided map uh, site but we can still play it oh yeah make sure you're always helping the team reinforce don't be running around doing dumb stuff let's make some holes looks like the orcs got unlocked i think we're in oh, yeah we're plat two right now so people kind of already know how to reinforce I should have seen it earlier in the stage. People would not know how to play the game. <clears throat> See if we can make some holes for red right here. For anyone coming up. All right. We don't have. I think it's best if we just put our shield here. The reason I don't want to put the shield on the default cache is because if they get the breach open, it's very easy to clear that shield. It gets easier just to have it here. Um. Kind of like a off section. All right, so we're just going to check the default cam, see where they're coming in from. A uh, Finca spawned over by strip side. She might come master over. Maverick's getting the wall open. Right, I'm going to try to look for some drones. I want to make sure they don't drone me. But I also want to be careful of any drone possible nades. I don't want to stay close too close in the shield without protection. We want to make sure we're also keeping an eye on the other people. So, drone coming in. I want to help this guy so bad. That looks like that cane fell off. I don't want to help him. Nice. Good pick. I think one's below right now. In lounge. Maverick's on repel on breach. I can hold breach walk in. Oh, okay. knock is in lounge now. Lounge. Knock dead. dead. One breach. One All breach. Right. One up. So I got aggressive on that knock. Yo, Con Oryx. In, in Con, in Con. So Bucks and Con. One Con. Rush, one breach, one Con. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna focus at breach here, but I also need to make sure Oryx is... I'm gonna smoke off breaches because he stunned me out. Go pre fire the window. Okay, on garage window. My best thing to do is just hold the walk in here. Oh, I gotta get aggressive. It's just all my teammates are dying too quickly. Let's try. That right there is just there was just too many angles for me to hold from the position I was in. I had to win the gunfight on on there, but it's all right. I'm gonna bring Echo. I'm gonna bring him with the uh, the, the impact grenade, so that way I can either impact trick, maybe make some rotates. But I want to mainly impact trick to kind of disrupt the hatch from getting opened, at least waste any time on it. I'm also going to need, I have the yokai's as well. This will help me see both a lot of room. That way I don't have to feel uncomfortable where I am. I can get the stock hatch if you guys can uh, get the kitchen and bar. We also need dirt. Okay, I'm going to trust my teammates. They're going to go reinforce that. But it's always good to call out uh, what you need reinforced. Oh my goodness. It's always good to call out what you need reinforced. That way people, you know, at least, at least you did something in your power to do it. See any outside garage? Didn't see any. All right, let's head back to site. All right, I'm gonna keep a yokai inside dirt, basically where the mirrors are not facing. The mirror weak spots are are uh, under the hatch. Speaking of that, I need to get back to impact tricking very soon. Looks like Kate's got it under control right now. Oh, it's Hibana. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be a little bit hard, but I might as well use the impact impact grenades now. See so if we can get a little pixel angle here. Oh no, I almost got him. He was grenading it though. I think we could bring Aruni. I think Aruni is um there's a lot of windows, doorways on this site, like a lot of like rotations. 
So I think uh, a Rooney will help, you know, patch things up a little bit. Like here, so like, you know, they can't grenade from that window. It's just kind of like an extra piece of pressure for anyone to come through. And she has a bulletproof camera, so very, very strong for Intel. Let's just put it facing the main breach here. All right, I'm just going to help out Mira with these reinforcements. I think Aruni is probably one of the best solo queue operators you can bring just due to like her utility kit. She kind of breeds the same power as Smoke and Mute, except she doesn't have any strong plant denial. Uh, I'm going to put a gate here, you know, just kind of help him out a little bit. And to get the Civil War reinforced though. Wow, we used a lot of reinforcements over here. It's okay though. And I think the last one's going to go on the hatch. Um, people will like to play the hatch a lot, so that's a little bit of extra protection. Buck's going below in the kitchen. Wow, he already got the mirror. Wow, these guys. Yeah. Good. Look at that. We wasted a drone already now on one of them. Pretty good. This is a shock drone. Dude, these guys are clearing us. I'm just going to keep an eye on this house because anyone could drop at this at like any moment. I think I made this dude upset. Alright, look at that. Now we can reset the gate. Nice. I, I recommend always putting it on the right side. That way you can reset it. Otherwise, it's going to be like hard to reset it if it's not on that side. A box on main. I'm going to just it. hold the crossfire. Ooh, what's Buck dead? Jeez, that's the power of the quick peek, dude. Don't want to give her hopes up too yet because there's still one more. He's on main. Is he on is main or bridge? Oh, on roof. I'll call roof baiting. All right. Um, but uh, overall, I think this was a decent clubhouse. A two-one split is always pretty good. Oh, he's main. He's he's walked up main, dude. Come on. He ran back down main. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we're on attacking now. Cade is on the board, so he might. Cade is very strong on Clubhouse. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Oh, I was going to go ahead. Bottom. Three Heartbreachers. You know what? If people go Heartbreachers in solo queue, I would just be lucky in general. I'm not going to complain. How about we just take the uh, the good old Finca? Yeah, but uh, everybody here on our team, I think, is carrying their own weight. So I don't have to worry about, like, you know, doing some dumb hero play. Should you switch from PS4 to PC? Yes, I recommend you should. Pray for some common spawn peak areas. Dude, I... I, uh, we sh I knew it. We shot out the window way too many times, man. Not the hottest game for us, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about the scoreboard. I recommend if you ever like feeling like unconfident sometimes you're getting smoked. Try not to look at the scoreboard too much to, to make it get to your head. I would just really just uh, focus on like the next round, like what's in front of you because... That's the easiest way for you to, uh, you know, get that next kill that will boost your confidence in a way. Sometimes all it takes is just one kill, and then you'll uh, you'll start thinking fine. Bomb stomping to my side. All right. I'm looking for small picking me again. Okay, so open up that garage real quick. All right. Let's get into bottom. Oh, you know what? Oh, hold up. Dude, why are you peeking me like this? Oh my god. Why? <laughs> why is he doing that? That's just so unpredictable, man. I mean... It's alright. Just focus on the next round. Oh, I almost have the D I have the DMR. Oh no. <laughs> Yo. Oh man. I was trying something new. Alright, this is okay. Open. It's open? What the fuck? Why is yeah, it open? open? Okay, we'll need... Oh, we don't have an ace. We're gonna have to hit cash over. Nice, good pick. We're gonna have to hit cash over because we can't get rid of the mirror. We need to make pressure on all these windows. I'm gonna open up all these windows for pressure. I'm also gonna be careful of peeking, people peeking me during this. That's one mirror. That's no way we didn't get the default cam. Just take out these windows for pressure here. Alright, we're good. 
All right, I'm gonna come in uh, with you guys. On the offside. I left one for our red. Stay on these last two camps for me. I'm gonna take uh, inside. He hopped out. I'm good right now. No one's in cash. One's in con. Or on the mirror in con. Nice. Hold up. You can probably get me up. We can drone. We you can pull our drone. Yeah. I'm good for res. Hey, Jim. Jim, come down. Jump down. Jim, Push okay. I'm going to go lo Uh, There's no horror team logic. You have to. You might have to make one. Or it's going to be on hold. He's prone. Prone. Good rotate the bathroom. Yeah, you have to move out Dude, what are doing? Why are we fucking drop shot? Oh no. That was unfortunate, dude. That was a that was as bad just a bad game. Damn, that was a 3v1. You know what? Let's actually go over that round. Let's all go over that game and just kind of like review like what went wrong. Um we're not gonna focus so much on what our teammates are doing, because we're not supposed to be doing that. But well, my dying on rafter at a minute 30 is very very bad no matter who it is your garage player needs to be alive or else attackers are able to just get control that's why cc is just such a hard site in general so now like look garage is completely free and now the attackers have sight from garage and from the main breach and then also from logi so they have us in a basically in just a fishbowl we cannot do anything about it all right, so I got a kill on Nox. So the reason I the reason I swung this right here really aggressively, I got the call that he was in lounge and we're kind of at a man disadvantage right now. So I just went, I just swung down and went for the kill. Luckily, I got him. But this is the hard part about where I am right now is that I cannot, it's hard for me to contest Khan and um, Reach and Garage. So we had info on where all three of them were. Um, I think I just took a bad gunfight here too. I got stunned here, so I just smoked off the bridge, you know, kind of prevent them from getting set up. So Oryx dying from, uh, or who is it? Someone had died from Rafter, but you have one from Khan, Garage, and Breach. So the reason I swung that right there, that was kind of a bad swing by me, but I wanted to isolate someone in order to uh, make it to, from a 2v2 to a 2v3 because they're all separated. All we need to do is win our gunfights, but unfortunately we couldn't. So uh, that's just what we're bad that round. So uh, main takeaways, like I said, I'm just going to only focus on what I'm doing. I'm not worried about my teammates because that's not my job. Okay. I should have. So they are kitchen. I want to do a kitchen dirt tick. I sh accidentally spawn warehouse. I have a habit of doing that sometimes. But we, I should have spawned warehouse or um, construction site. That way I'm just able to get into kitchen a little bit less spawn peaks. But this Cade, I it's just... Sticking his head in the window, but it was a, it was a risky. I hate crossing over windows like this. I need, he just kills me right there. So, um, just try to avoid uh, a lot of ways of dying unnecessarily. I would have prevented a lot of that. I feel like a lot of these rounds would have changed if I was just alive. I got spawn peak like two games, two rounds, which is like way too many. So here's my thought process right here. I saw the Mazi on drone. I would assume I don't know if he heard me pull the nade pin or not but he see did he see my drone but he backed up right <laughs> either he heard he heard me pull the nade pin which I guess is a fine play on his part and punishing me for putting myself at a bad position but why is he just like the first time I hit the barricade he's just swinging bro dude is just swinging yeah, that was a pretty frustrating round, low-key. But the uh, next round, I believe they went... This was like the last round, I think. All right, let's... Uh, the round went pretty decent until here. It's a 3v1. I tell the Ayana I can drone. And also, was, <laughs> I don't know why I had DMR on. It's been a while since I've been on this account. All right, so my drone got Mozzie special here. Does... That was just bad. Um, and then I asked Iona if he can clone. 
but he was in an isolated position right here. Just Mira found the play. I just feel like the enemy, the, the, the people of this game just did so many things right and we did so many things wrong. It just ended up adding up. Yeah, and then Twitch running in there. We had no choice though. And then just the gunfight came down here. Uh, to be honest, I went for a drop shot. I would assume that like, since he's in the cornered spot, um, I just have to just next time. I don't really, I never drop shot. I don't even know why I did it. I just did a lot of weird things this game. I'd like never drop shot, but, um, normally I would just walk at him and just literally unload my, my clip on him. Just hopefully to get a, a good pre-fire, but that's how it goes. I just wanted to go over the match replay and kind of take some things away rather than just like, you know, losing because I think a really important that um with these match replays i think a lot of you guys should go back in these and just spend like five even ten minutes just going over your devs and i guarantee you, you will remember a lot um so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video